the next door. I'm gonna check the other hallways just in case. So this is our I was already. What's that? Robotic controls, I presume. Ow. about the perimeter. Returns come. I have a present for them. I'd better try out the sonic thingy on them as well. Wait, wrong button again.
Oh, 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 oh. I want the head or it's, uh, somehow with the robots it's uh Ah oh! and now these fuckers come Oh They are bunched up together, so I'm trying to loop the grenade while while they are doing that. Oh, and no, they are not bunched up together. Oh, and that one is a dead one at all. Now I'm stuck. Oh fuck. I can only solve this with drugs. Some chat left? Yes. some quick travel now. Oh. 
Okay, let me try it now. Are you going to smart test again? Ooh. Might I be of service, sir? Very good, sir. cells from uh, fission battery then I can convert other stuff uh, I can I can convert uh, the small energy cells into other stuff basically This one. is uh, locked in. The extra material goes in here. Do I have like just one of these? Okay. I'll put it away, no need to create confusion. about 
slate. Oh, not so much left now. Do I need a blank book? Doesn't look this way. I wanted to put away the extra cases as well. needs repairing. Uh, oh dear, these are not in too good condition. Let me loot the think tank for a change. I wonder why do they call it uh, the uh, sink? Is it like the joke about uh, Coast Guard, uh, the non-English non speaking Coast Guard, who asks, uh, like, what are you thinking about? Fellas, in your rooms. No. Oh, they are there. They just don't show up as contacts. Oh, bottomite! 
Has it come for hellos? You'll get no such satisfaction from me. Of course not. I don't want to talk to you either. Sir. Dr. Raid needs extra stuff to talk. I wonder if I can use this too. Oh, that's a weapon. Not April. And I wanted to drop it. You are an unusual specimen to so boldly walk into the mighty expanse of the think tank. Fearless and proud as a teddy bear. <laughs> Between the extraction of their higher reasoning abilities and urination-inducing fear, most lobotomites dare not approach us, let alone speak to us. Yet you have no such fear facing me. Epidermis flushed with blood, plasma running molten <laughs> beneath, your face contorting with muscular expression. Will you indulge me? <laughs> Say a few words. Face towards the monitors, please, so that I might record it for further examination. You pervert. Yes, yes, go on. <laughs> Seeing your lips and mouth forming the words, both revolting and somehow... How does it feel to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? <laughs> to control each muscle and the tongue? Like having a fish or extremely dexterous <laughs> slug lolling and flopping in one's mouthful cavity. Give me back my brain, bitch. Ooh, I think that's the first uh, girly, uh, uh, girly choice I have had. What nonsense! <laughs> what? What are you doing? <laughs> Stop it. Why? Why are you making me partake in this filthy formography? You talk dirty to me first, remember? Enough. I'm already... Intrigued. You have sufficiently percolated me. I don't know what it is about the biology of lobotomites. It... it infects my thoughts. All that skin and muscle <laughs> and tissue. Perhaps... perhaps there is value in what you say. I... I did so enjoy breathing once, <laughs> long ago. Would you? I feel so ashamed, but yet so intrigued. You'll need to give me a rest in between visits, or else my gel might <laughs> run over. If you're ready, let me radar scan you. <laughs> Slowly. Okay, now you are just faking it. Purple, purple, blue, 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 purple, blue, 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 last little bit there. Thank you, Lobotomite. Please, you must come back for further study when I've had a rest. I'm a little sensitive right now. 
Did I just engage in an act of prostitution for energy cells? Hmm. This mountain, now crater, encompasses the sum total of knowledge of humankind. It is Big Mountain, where all questions can be answered. You'll see. No matter what your questions, Big Mountain will provide the answers, as it has done for so many before you. Oh yes, we've had other subjects visit. It's why we had to calibrate the pacification field and warm up our brainial beams and vivisectors. Only a short time ago, we had three minus one subjects arrive, and they ruined several experiments and even injured two of our staff. It is a shame their brains left with them. With you, however, we have taken precautions to ensure that problem won't repeat itself. We've conditioned you so you can't speak of this place. Discuss oh. our secrets, or attempt to use force against us in any way. Isn't that nice? Because three minus one is two. Two spoke to us, <laughs> one after the other. One mean, one curious. But there was a third we didn't speak to. The last one is the minus one. It got traumatized then taken to one of our medical centers for de-traumatization. A oh, rather dear. unsettling procedure. Ask Dr. O. And you could have asked eight once, until he was severely damaged in the attack. <laughs> we like him better this way. An interrogation. <laughs> How fascinating. Please begin. Oh, removing it is a simple procedure. Well, except the complications it can cause to the heart and spine. But once the heart and spine are gone, no trouble at all. Clamp the subject down. One laser incision around the skull. Crack. Snip. Done. The brain is finally free of the skin envelope, which is then kept automated for cleanup duties around Big Mountain. Lobotomites. With you, however... Something is definitely wrong. We've never had a lobotomite who kept speaking after being forcibly lobotomized. I am relieved the pacification field is working. If it didn't, I would broadcast some concern to my colleagues about safety protocols. That is a good question. My theory is that the Tesla coils in your brain pan are still connected to your brain somehow. It really could be anywhere. Oh, Brains are a lot smarter than most researchers give them <sighs> credit for. We still have your spine and heart. If you were to somehow find your brain, wherever it slurped off to, you could humanically reduce yourself again. <laughs> It is the pacification field emitters that are broadcasting into the emptiness of your skull. <laughs> Without a brain, your aggression is suppressed in here. Okay, so apparently first I need my brain and then I can shut off the stuff. Why would you want such a thing? You might surrender to your hormones and commit primal aggression on me, <laughs> on us, again and again. Then I would have to return the favor, <laughs> activating my vivisectors and gently lobotomizing you from behind. Not something I would relish doing. No, the only way to circumvent the field is to have a brain. And we extracted that like we do all the lobotomites here. Perhaps you are stuck in a looping gesture of verbal intercourse. <laughs> It'll all become clear. If not, at least we will have the technology here at the Dome where all technology belongs. When we have all the technology, all the answers, we can share it with the world, piece by piece. All will be in order, and all will be like Big Mountain.
Why, my little dear, <laughs> I am Dr. Dalla, first head chief researcher of mineralogy and medicinal sciences. I have 211 doctorates in both applied <laughs> sciences and techniques to apply those sciences. I also possess a degree in curiosity and advanced curiosity. That is merely schooling, however. When possible, I prefer field work and observation to holotape eidetics. It has proven useful, especially now. I have become the expert on humanology and lobotomite behavior here at Big Mountain. My research doesn't descend into formography. It is only science. <laughs> Why, we create not only scientific marvels here at Big Mountain, but new sciences as well. Everything can be quantified, categorized, and dissected until every group can be subgrouped or partitioned. <laughs> What is a name without a title or suffix for the sake of hierarchy? <laughs> it is a long-standing quantification of personality and importance. We could not do without it. Surely you must be aware of the gravity of such attached appellations, just as surely as you must have a title. Great. Oh, a mailman. A delivery man. Someone who takes parcels from place to place using <laughs> their primitive feet or similar conveyance. You are the second one I've met in recent times. Very different specimens. I wonder if I was the first one as well. Of course. You must have met others in your travels. This one had met other couriers <laughs> too. Although it sounded as if he hadn't met oh. the correct one. He asked us all many questions, and then he asked a most perplexing one. We had to segment the event out of our memories for safety. Meaning it must be on a holodisc somewhere, or a holotape. I do not know, nor should we try to access it. Perhaps Klein has the logs. My evaluation would be to let your own curiosity go. I do not think that Klein remembers the conversation as being satisfactory. Dr. Mobius! A monstrous brain creased with wrinkles of a thousand evils, with but one jaundiced eye with which to perceive the world! Exiled from the think tank for crimes too heinous to remain in recorded memory, and perhaps differences in research methodology. No His one terrible eye forever peers at us, an eye of ever-increasing magnification. He watches from his dome in the Forbidden Zone, spying on us all. Wait, I wanted to ask about the mountain as well. This mountain, now crater encompasses the sum total of knowledge of humankind. It is Big Mountain, where all questions can be answered. You'll see. No matter what your questions, Big Mountain will provide the answers, as it has done for so many before you. Yes, Big Mountain was quite big indeed until the Great Static. Then the top of the mountain was used as part of a detonation experiment. This cleared additional space in the crater, however, allowing us more real estate to build upon. <laughs> Convenient. Efficient. Wait... And the other question This mountain, now crater, encompasses the sum total of knowledge of humankind. It is Big Mountain, where all questions can be answered. You'll see. No matter what your questions... Big Mountain will provide the answers, as it has done for so many before you. Previous test subjects who have come here have had many questions for us. <laughs> we answered them with science, fire, and termination. Okay. Until our next interaction, my intriguing <laughs> little lobotomite. <laughs> Maybe I will put on my uh, patient gown. Show you my behind. Huh. 
Uh-huh. Give me some answers, please. Breaking news! Talking lobotomite arrives in Think Tank. Its purpose, unknown. Undefinable. Its presence here, impossible. Oh, really? <laughs> now the lobotomite is a master of the dictionary arts. What, do you have a doctorate in verbology? No? I do. And... Stop the presses. Just in for my eye monitors. Is that Rob Kotek on your arm? It is! What's your agenda bringing that in here? <laughs> How dare you bring Rob Kotek in here? What are you showing off? <laughs> I'm bringing Robert House and his big company are! Ooh, House, we huh? can make Securitrons better than any robot those geniuses of Big Mountain can make, and they'll last a thousand years. Ah. You're lucky I don't have hands to tear that dip boy off your arm, <laughs> or feet to stomp on its stupid metal guts. <sighs> Damn Robco. Fine. <laughs> Ask. I don't like to talk about it. Eight, <laughs> he can't talk about it. They fried his voice module. Something good. It wasn't all the visitors, though. Only one of them got out of control. He's the one that took control of Little Yangtze, our old human farm. Huh. This human. I can't believe it. He broke out of the think tank in seconds. Then he went for Yangtze, got bomb collars, and started practicing on the subjects that were still there until he got the right frequency. We were sending robots to stop him, and he was slicing and cutting through their shells with some souped-up laser gun like they were cheese paper. <laughs> When he hacked into the mainframe, A tried to stop him and got fried. Me? He rerouted my processors to take control of the train network here. If you see the tunnels with the trains plowed into them, you can thank our visitor for that. He wrecked the whole place. While we were trying to keep containment on the surface, turns out he used one train to punch out a tunnel and escape. Sealed now. But... But I suppose I can... I wonder if, if it's possible to get through there. Two other human specimens. One arrived not long after the troublemaker. And the last one... Not sure when he showed up. Thought the first one was going to be lobotomized in Y-17. She got out somehow. The last subject? Klein might know more. He talked to him. And let him leave the think tank. Hope he knew what he was doing. Klein knows things we don't. <laughs> And I think he told some of those things to the last visitor. Dangerous things that they ever got out. Yeah, I do. It wasn't always, oh. <laughs> I just took that one by default because sometimes it's easier to accept the mistake as long as the purpose works. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> it's a sore topic with me. It makes my gel ripple. In other words, interesting. Great! Psychology! Clearly the worst of the sciences, right after Colosto Diuretics. <laughs> okay, so my name is an O, never was. It was circular, a single character, digit, but not O. <laughs> but even with enhanced sensors, no one here could get it right. Always kept seeing the letter, not the number. Yes, thank you. Zero. I am zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin zero. Zero's my name. I'm proud of it, all right? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. <laughs> Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of... Round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that oh, it's oh. Vivisect <laughs> me, please. What? <laughs> Did. Did I shoot myself with a brainial beam or something? <laughs> That's brilliant! I mean, I would have come to the same conclusion... ...eventually. <laughs> oh, uh, who am I deceiving? I never would have figured that out. 
I can't figure anything out. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. At least the old name was indisputable. <laughs> oh, is more like surprise. Oh, look what I stepped in. <laughs> What did accomplishments ever do for us? Please. I like your solution. With that kind of slash in the middle, I can set myself apart. If I wanted to. <laughs> the biggest zero in all the think tank. They won't be able to escape it. That diagonal slash right down the middle. <laughs> Thanks. Talking to you, it really helped unclog some frustration. Talking. <laughs> what a primitive form of thought kicking. You know, hearing my name said like that, it really derezzes my screens. As for discoveries, well, of course. Look at this. Just, uh, built it. Amazing, isn't it? Oh. So now he is molesting me too. Great. You know what? I'm not even gonna pretend. I broke one of the monitors. <laughs> And those innards start falling out everywhere. If you could just hold on to that for me until, well, forever, <laughs> that would be welcome. All things robotical. You see a robot? I made it. See a broken robot? I made it that way. <laughs> he constructed it down to parts. I have a gift with machines. I can render anything inoperable. Preserve them in a non-functioning <laughs> state. Who asked you? You just wait until a working machine threatens you, and you'll wish I was around. <laughs> He's got a point, actually. Big Mountain used to be a mountain. Then there was a slight mishap. <laughs> now it's a crater. The dome used to be buried, now it's exposed to the sky. Don't get me wrong. It makes the sky light up like a planetarium at night. All those spectra. So soothing. That genius Mobius somehow cobbles together these really impressive looking robot scorpions with spare parts. <laughs> even painted them. Try to see what makes even them tick. Can't even them. examine them without Complete. them detonating all over me. Left with shrapnel and burns. Every time. Supposedly, he has even larger models, even a giant robot scorpion, hidden deep within the Forbidden Zone. Yeah, right. Giant monsters, sure. Yeah, crazy, right? Something right out of a midnight science fiction <laughs> feature. Ridiculous. What are the odds? This is ridiculous. I wonder, I don't really need any more, but I wonder what he will say. I'd have a few left. Let me check. Yeah, there were a few under the monitors here. Here you go. Keeps the place tidy. <laughs> a few. Fifty. Hmm, nice. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. Okay. Who else has... Hmm, filthy secrets. Wait, this one was O zero dawn. I love to hear you breathe. <gasps> Stay away from me. Uh, eight. This B something borrows. But then where is that Klein dude thingy? Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them, as I have indicated. Whoa! Why, yes. 
We are filled with the knowledge you speak of. If you wish to know more, simply ask the others. They can help you. Oh, and you're not gonna tell me anything, right? Hmm? Oh, yes, the last visitor. Well, the one just before you. Had an interesting name from some language that's almost impossible to speak. What did we speak about? Melancholy fellow. Had questions about uh, history, but... Our conversation got interrupted. Twice, I believe. Once when the trains got derailed, and then a second time. Oddly enough, now that I'm accessing my databanks, I don't recall what the second time was. Mobius's incessant transmissions keep distracting me. Also, we didn't brain scrub the visitor. He may have left with some knowledge he shouldn't have. I believe, maybe. Oh well, I'm sure it's of no consequence. I don't make many mistakes <laughs> in calculation or perception, so probability favors me. Good for you, Klein. Good for you. Uh, wait. I'm yes, a most goodbye. I'm gonna complete this and then talk on. Save is in order. And actually, they talk so much, I need a break. Uh, so, next time I will resume my conversation with Herr Klein here. Bye bye for now.